Hey, what's going on, my uh, fellow smokers? Man, I started my cook by 8 o'clock on the pit maker vote today. Just doing a small cook, two briskets and three uh, pork butts that I halved up to get them done just a little faster. And I'm not doing it hot and fast. I'm actually been doing my menu method. You know, just doing a reverse ale. Yeah, got everything on the racks. Everything on the racks today. I'm getting ready to put them in the pans because man, they're just about ready to be wrapped up. You know, most of the time, you know, guys, hey, I cook everything in pans. But I just want to let you guys see the uh, cooking these briskets straight on the rack. Man, you can check out the color. It does real good in the pan or out the pan. So these are small briskets, 14 and a 13 pounder. Beautiful color. And I've been rolling, I've been uh, running post oak today. No, 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 I'm sorry. Hickory. Hickory today. Now, sometimes if you got, you know, pork butts and you're trying to get them done fast, you know, some, most of the time I will half my uh, pork butts up, cut them down the middle so I can get them done faster, you know, and then put them in the pan. So once I wrap my briskets up, I'm going to put these pork butts in the pan. And then I'm gonna put them up top so I can get them done a lot faster. But right now I'm getting ready to go ahead and wrap all these, wrap both of these briskets up. You know? And check it out, guys. Hey, I just got my notification from a YouTube page to go ahead and start doing uh, live videos. So I already met the, uh, the requirements. Actually, last week I just found out because I checked it. But you can look for me now doing live videos on my YouTube page. Uh, doing some prep cooks, hog cooks, whole hogs, you know, mostly everything that I do at the restaurant. But, and I say, so uh, stay tuned for that. Get the notifications when I come on. But hey, this is the uh, pet maker vote. Man, I tell you what, when you need to get something done and you got to do a big cut, I mean, a big cook, man, I tell you what, I love the, I love this vote. Let's check out the firebox so you can see my uh, reverse L. And you know what? You know, this boat does not take long to get up the temperature, guys. You know, most of us, we use weed burners. You know, just to bring it up to about maybe 200 degrees. Because if you go higher than that, you ask for trouble. You know, you don't want to go higher than, you know, two. two. I, I usually stay at 180 uh, for my uh, preheat. But most of the time I don't. But just to sterilize my grates. Uh, but you got you to be careful when you mess with this boat. You don't want to get too hot when you start to preheat. So this is the remaining fuel that I have. Still got a lot left. So I did reverse ale. Man, I started off probably with a half a chimney of lit charcoal, dumped it in, put some chunk woods on top, maybe about, I think about five or six, and then closed it up. So I'm actually going on, it's been on since eight, so almost one o'clock. So eight, one, two, three, four, eight, nine, 10, 11, about five hours now, about four hours. So no, it's about nine o'clock. Let's push this back in. All right. But you ain't got to worry about the boat. Very efficient. Uses a less fuel, man, less charcoal. You don't need a lot. You, you truly don't. You know, but I love this pit. Man, I can go to sleep, wake up, and my meat is just about done. So tomorrow morning, I'm going to be putting on some uh, I'm doing some pineal roasted pork, but I'm gonna smoke it, put it in here too. A couple more pork butts, some beef shoulders. You know, so I'm gonna have it loaded down tomorrow and I'll bring you guys back for that cook. All right, gotta go. God bless y'all. And uh, we'll talk to you later.